hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the first module of data mining and data warehousing and uh, in this uh, means in the module one these are the topics basically these are divided into two parts firstly we have to learn what is a uh, data warehouse the basic concepts regarding it and then the data warehouse modeling data cube and olap operations so if i show you the uh, question bank for this one these are the uh, questions which you need to focus upon currently you won't understand what are the uh, these questions uh, mean but uh, just for a glance look at it what uh, do these things mean so that you can focus what you need to uh, means actually know in the module okay so uh, the questions are of like mainly four questions are there what is data warehouse and explain the three tier architecture this same question is repeated here as well what is data warehouse and what are its four key features as well as here what is data warehousing discuss the various usage and trends in data warehousing so first question is what what is data warehouse and explain its three tier architecture the second one important question is explain the schemas of multi dimensional data models okay after that the important one is about data cube okay this is the third question data cube and its operations okay like, like this one data cubes and its operations and uh, this is the same one theta architecture we have uh, covered here itself and explain with suitable example olap operation these are the same as the cube operations so, so three questions are this one and uh, the last one is this one explain with example snowflake schema flag constellation schema and star schema these three are same as this one what are the uh, schemas of multi dimensional models to to wrap up what are the important questions you need to uh, uh, means know from this module data warehouse and three tier architecture schemas of multi dimensional data models basically these three and after that the data cube what is data cube and uh, the categorization of it as well as its operations okay so these are the important questions let's get started with the first module and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so um what is data warehouse data warehouse is nothing but um it is like a warehouse okay in that like a uh, lot of data is stored and um, a, a lot of data means it is stored in tbs okay and this data provides a uh, means the basic overview of what the thing is like it will provide the insights in graphs and all okay so if i show you what does data warehouse means it is a big database okay that's all it's a big database and it has more features than the uh, database management system means we have these databases here by using this data uh, means database is converted into data warehouse it has more storage and more functions and by using these we can get many uh, views of it okay like uh, the query reports and the analysis and the data mining we will get more insights of what the data is about okay so we'll discuss some examples as well uh, before that we need to know some concepts okay so if they ask you for in, in the exam what is data warehouse you need to write this definition data warehouse is a subject oriented means it's uh, particular with a specific context okay it's not general like it is just for the sales of some particular product or it's uh, for the statistics of cricket match okay like that it is for specific thing it is subject oriented these are the four features the first one is subject oriented second one is integrated what do you mean by integration integration means from different sources the data is collected into a single source time variant means it has a lot of uh, data means history historical data unlike databases because in database when we update something it will get updated and the previous data is lost but in data warehouse the previous data as is stored as well as the new data is stored okay so it has previous historical data to study for the trends okay and a non volatile collection of data that means it's uh, just getting updated each time it's uh, getting changed okay in support of management decision making process that's known as data warehouse so what is data warehouse it is a subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile collection of data okay these are the features of this data which is uh, getting collected and why it is used it is used for the support for the decision making process okay and these are the means advantages you can go through it like it provides architecture and the tools and data repository it provides uh, synchronization and solid platform so you can go through the advantages or you can write it in your own words okay and the key features of the data warehouse the same what were in the definition the four things what were there subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile so these things in meaning is written here so the same thing which i explained here so you can go through it and uh, after that what we have is the construction of data warehouse okay Th so this is not asked in exam in the previous papers but this concept is required for understanding the upcoming topics okay so how to construct a data warehouse suppose that you have a lot of data okay this is the data which you have a lot of data you have now you need to store this data in a data warehouse because in data warehouse you will get sufficient means efficient query processing uh, techniques okay so how to store this here firstly you need to clean the data clean the data means remove the unwanted data only store the relevant data data integration means uh, form it into separate groups data consolidation means 
defining each query for the given data okay so we'll look at this at uh, means uh, in more depth in the upcoming topics so how are the organizations using the information from the data warehouses so in data warehouses, a lot of information is there how are the organizations using it they are mainly using for uh, decision making activities so if you have a lot of data you can generate easily what are the trends uh, happening here there right you can get to know that so you can increase the customer focus then reposition the products where products if you keep it will be in more profit and what things you need to sell in which time of the year and maintaining the customer relationships okay so by uh, getting to know the trends you can uh, do your sales more easily okay and heterogeneous database integration means it's uh, uh, means uh, the sources are from multiple sources and that is getting integrated into a single source heterogeneous means multiple different sources okay and query driven approach the traditional approach to handle heterogeneous database integration so what was the previous case is the traditional approach in traditional approach if you give one query it will give you the result that's all what was happening but the drawback is that it is very complex and uh, means if more data is there it requires a lot of time and resources and it is inefficient so uh, the new approach is the update driven approach in the database warehouse so whenever a new data is inserted into a data warehouse at that time the um, whole system gets updated and whenever a, a query is asked at that time the ready-made data will be given to it it will not search again where it is present it will already know where it is present okay that's how the google search also works because in google a lot of resources are available but you get the results within seconds how is that possible because google already searched for all the topics and has kept somewhere like an index where if the data comes the query comes the query will be matched with the most uh, close result and that will be displayed okay it will not search again and again for the whole data one time it will search and it will keep okay so that's what's happening in the data warehouse also and the main difference between the operational database which is the in the last time which we studied database management system and data warehouse is that the major task is to query pro, uh, processing the query means the frequently asked uh, questions like uh, show me the details of 10 students 20 students who is the uh, means um, most active student in the class or if uh, you're talking about the office who has made more sales just for the query processing it is used but for data warehouse it is used for the business purpose like what product if i sell it i'll get the more uh, profit like those type of data which involves a lot of factors okay so it is used for the uh, simple processing it is used for the complex processing and it is called the transaction processing it is for the analytical purpose because we need to understand what are the trends and patterns so it is uh, analytical and this is transactional and transactions mainly happen with the customer so it is customer oriented and this happens for the businesses means to understand what the market trend is so it is market oriented okay and uh, here are some more uh, means the uh, uh, differences so you can go through it but the main thing is that it is uh, customer oriented like transactions are happening here and here it, here we are understanding the market okay so rest of the things are also same you can go through it for more information okay so here also you have a lot of uh, points which you can remember in the exam okay next why we have a separate data warehouse why have a separate, a separate data warehouse because the previous one which we had the operational database it just uh, what uh, question you ask it will give you the answer it will not give you the insights of what are the trends happening in it right so for that reason only we need a separate data warehouse just this concept is uh, explained in a uh, uh, little more detail okay so you can go through it to get more information fine so uh, that was about the what is data warehouse and what uh, things you need to keep in mind is these things okay like for, from the exam point of view this you need to be very thorough with what is data warehouse the um, definition and what are the key features of it okay so just explain these things and uh, that is the most important topic as of uh, what all we have discussed now okay now uh, the second thing is the multi-tier architecture also known as three-tier architecture so this uh, figure you need to know very thoroughly okay write for three or four times and draw it and uh, keep it in your mind okay so how many layers you can see here there are three layers this one this one and this one and below it also is another layer which acts as data layer okay but the main thing is these three layers so i'll uh, roughly explain you what's happening here you're starting from here these are the data uh, bases uh, which i had like in the previous uh, semester like database management system Th those are the databases here and the external sources are the uh, data from the external other sources okay so all these are combined and what they are go uh, going through the process is extraction cleaning transformation loading and refreshing and these things are performed on this data at that time what happens is it will be a refined data that refined data is stored where it is stored in the data warehouse okay and there is a metadata repository what is metadata data about the data for example if the data is of numbers it will be stored here like the data is of numbers okay so metadata is that and this is the data warehouse and data mart is the a uh, smaller version of data warehouse okay that's all and uh, there are monitoring and the administration things also so this is the bottom tier okay 
and moving on to the upper tier here we have the OLAP server these are the data cubes and here we have the further ref uh, refining process of whatever the data warehouse uh, data is provided here we will get a more um, clear uh, understanding of what the data is and what are the different dimensions of it so we'll discuss an example regarding the data cubes in depth in the upcoming topics okay for now just keep in mind it is a more uh, refined form of data warehouse and here what will happen is whoever is the data scientist they will be able to understand what this OLAP server is but for the uh, end users we need not uh, show this one uh, but we need to show this one because end users understand the final outputs right like what are the bar graphs what are the uh, means the charts and all and the reports and all the end users understand this one so top tier is for the end, uh, end users and the middle tier is for the uh, data scientist and these are for the database designers okay and these are the main sources of the data so these four things if you uh, explain the three tier architecture after making the diagram that will be sufficient for you okay so here are some more information given about what I'll explain just now like what does happen in the bottom tire what's happening in the middle tire and what's happening in the top tire okay so you can go through it and uh, the next one is the data uh, database uh, data warehouse uh, models so the data warehouse models is nothing but what are the different types of models like uh, what we had here these are the data warehouse like this is the sub version of data warehouse this is the main data warehouse here is the metadata repository there are also virtual data warehouse so just the mod different types of models are explained okay so this question is not from the uh, not important from the exam point of view and uh, yeah let's discuss what are the actual things here what is enterprise uh, warehouse enterprise warehouse means all the data combined in a single and uh, single place okay that is in the uh, gigabytes and terabytes all the data which is present in the data warehouse that is known as enterprise warehouse data mart is nothing but a sub version of ent uh, enterprise warehouse means for example if there is a food company there and food company is divided into four parts sweets spicy and uh, bitter and sour okay so four things are there now if we, uh, uh, this is known as enterprise data warehouse if i'm just interested in the spicy food at that time i'll be using a data mart data mart will just display me this one okay so that's what the main difference between enterprise warehouse and data mart what about virtual warehouse you remember in the previous time we used to uh, do in the database management system views in views we need uh, we were selecting the particular columns only that which we need to display in data warehouse also if you select those particular columns which you need to display that is known as virtual warehouse okay so these are the three types of data warehouse so you can go through it for more information fine and uh, what we have next is the pros and cons of the top down and bottom up approach what is top down approach what is bottom up approach by the name on, uh, by the name itself you can understand top down means from top to bottom means first you will get to know I'll explain you this with an example. Suppose that you want to uh, learn coding. Okay, if you want to learn coding, what you can do is, uh, firstly, you will Google search what is coding. When you'll get to know what is coding, what are the different languages in it? Then uh, for each language, you'll see what are the different algorithms and the data types present in it. Then for the each data type, you'll understand how to apply it and what are its applications and the syntax and all. Then you will understand how to write the code for each. Then you will write some code and solve the problems. That is top down approach. From the very general brief overview, you are going in depth. That is top down approach. Bottom up means you will go to uh, go to the depth of it. Like for example, if you consider the case of biology, in that if you have a particular cell here, like in the animal cell, if you have a particular thing here. Uh, means um, uh, an element here okay that element you uh, want to know more about it so what you will see where this element belongs to this element belongs to a, a bigger group of uh, other cells and these cells belong to another group and these cells belong to another group they form a tissue and they form the organs and these form the body so this you are going from the bottom till the top that is known as bottom up approach same thing happens in the uh, data warehouse as well so uh, if you go from the top to bottom it is systematic and it minimizes the integration problem but it is expensive and takes a long of a long time to develop and lack of flexibility but if you go from bottom to up it is uh, low cost it uh, design and development of the independent data and rapid return on investment but the problem is that it um, may lead to problems while integrating various disparate data marts into consistent data warehouse okay so uh, anyways this is not asked in the exam but uh, it's good for your information like to keep in mind to understand the upcoming topics okay and uh, what is this this is the implementation warehouse of the incrementally and the evolutionary as shown in the figure below so from high level to low level how you go in this way okay first define a high level corporate data model that is refined to data marts and the enterprise data warehouse these are the sub versions of this one and this is again further refined to distributed data uh, data marts and uh, finally we have the combination of these both as multi tier data warehouse okay so this has all the kinds of data and this is just the enterprise data here we have the data which is uh, relevant from the data marts 
formats and uh, here is the high level corporate data model like which company you are working in that will uh, that is shown by this one what are all the products which you have this is shown by this one what are the specific products which you have that is shown here and what are the relevant specific products that is shown here and combination of both of these is shown here so more information can be found here you can go through it like how to design the data warehouse define a high level corporate data model and uh, separate it into the uh, different data marts. Data mart can be further uh, integrated to a distributed data warehouse. And after that, uh, both the enterprise data warehouse and the um, distributed data warehouse can be combined to multi tier data warehouse. It will have all the information, okay? Like all uh, warehouse data will be there, fine. And what is extraction, transformation, and loading? By the name itself, you can understand extraction means extraction of data. Transformation means, uh, means converting this data into the uh, specific format in which it is to be loaded and loading means after the transformation then it will be loaded to the uh, data warehouse okay so here are some uh, key terms data extraction gathers the data data cleaning it detects the errors and noise in the data and removes it data transformation converts the data from the host format to the warehouse format means the data is in different formats right first we have to convert to the uh, specific format then we have to load it load means uh, sort summarize and consolidate compute views and check the integrity refresh means again update when the uh, changes are happening okay metadata is uh, the data about the data where the timestamp source of the data missing fields which are there and it uh, it is used to guide the uh, user to understand what the data uh, warehouse is about fine that is the met uh, metadata repository and uh, this is the thing which the metadata should include description of the data warehouse operational metadata algorithms which are used there and mapping of the data from the operational environment so what are the uh, different techniques of mapping from the operational data to the data warehouse data related performance and business metadata so you not worry more about these things because these are not asked in the exam so i'm not explaining in more depth but uh, the things that are asked in exam i'll explain in more depth okay then what we have is the data cube multi-dimensional data model this is very important okay if you understand this uh, if you just keep one example in your mind which i'll be explaining now it will be sufficient for this whole topic okay in the uh, by using that same example we'll be explaining all the topics under this second half of the module okay this is the second half so what are the topics we have covered till now these are the topics which i have covered till now um from here till here it is covered so what you need to keep in mind is what is data warehouse you need to know and what is a multi-tier architecture just explain these three things okay and um, the next important things are in this one so here you need to focus on what is the data cube i'll be explaining with an example what is data cube what are the operations you can perform on it after you know what is the data cube and the operation perform on, uh, performed on it what are the different types of it and the different schemas okay so those are the important things and after that we have the um, measures and their types so that's all what is there in this module let's uh, fi uh, quickly finish uh, those topics it's very simple just uh, understand the example here okay so this is the example which will be explaining so uh, listen carefully what i'm trying to say fine so uh, data cube and multi-dimensional data model okay what is data cube by the name itself you understand data cube means a cube of data like there will be a cube here and this cube will have all the data in all the sides it will be uh, showing some information okay that is known as data cube and data cube allows the data to be modeled and view in different dimensions okay so what are the dimensions what are the facts that's very important dimension means what are the um, column values okay like uh, for example if you have a um, table here in that this is the students result table okay students name will be written here students subject marks will be written here and students roll number and address and all those things will be written there right so these are the dimensions from which dimension you are viewing means which column you are viewing and what is the fact fact is nothing but the data present in it how much marks are there what is the address what is the name of the student which subject it is those are the facts facts are the values and dimension is the column name okay so more you'll understand when we'll, when we'll discuss this example so this is the example which you need to keep in mind an organization is there all electronics organization here the electronic items are sold okay and the warehouse name is sales data warehouse and the dimensions are time item branch and location so these are the four dimensions through which the um, data cube is viewed like time means which part of the year you want to know the information about what which item you want to know the information about in which branch you want to know the information about means in electronics also there will be different branches right which branch information you want to know location means which location in the uh, means among all the branches which country you want to know uh, in which countries uh, sales you want to know okay so those are known as dimensions and the values of it is known as facts okay so uh, three dimension allows the store to keep the track of things like monthly sales 
and the branches and the locations at which the time items were sold each dimension may have the table associated with that this is known as dimension table and there is a fact table as well what will the dimension table store is this is the schema you can schema in the previous semester what we used to do we used to store the um, means main attributes right so here also the main attributes of this um, company is like main attributes are what what is the time how many items are there what is the branch which location the company is presented so these are the attributes attribute is known as dimensions that is also column values and some of the uh, dimensions will have further dimensions like item will have the item name brand and type okay so um, multi-dimensional data and the cube around the revolves around the central theme like uh, in this case it is sales like uh, as discussed earlier also data warehouse is concerned with specific data only okay like not general data specific data like sales only and fact table represents this theme facts are numeric measures the, uh, as i told you it's uh, matching the numeric values for example here uh, in the all electronics what are the dimensions time item branch and location what are the facts facts means how much sales happened so how much dollars sold how many branches are there how many people are uh, working in it and uh, how many units they are selling so these are the two facts present here dollar sold and unit sold why are we designing this database to know how much the sales is happening and in uh, what uh, perspective you are uh, you want to see like uh, in what time of the year the sales happened for what items the sales happened which branch has the highest sales in which location the highest sales is happening i hope you got a clear view of what uh, the dimension means and what the fact means just remember dimension means um column values and uh, fact means the uh, the actual data values okay and uh, the fact table con uh, con uh, contains the name of the facts and measures and keys of each of the related dimension tables for example here uh, you can see the facts are home entertainment computer phone security and q1 to q4 q1 to q4 means quarter one to quarter four if you see this example here the type is itself is divided into item is divided into four parts like what which item means home entertainment computer phone or security also time is also divided into different parts uh, quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four so these things what you can see is known as facts and the upper things which you can see is the column names that's nothing but the um, dimensions okay and these are the data values this is known as measures okay so this is the 2d representation of the items here and the time at what time how much sales has happened for the particular item and um, as i told you how much sales is happening that is the factor of the measure so here the factor of the measure is dollars sold like this is known as how much dollars it is sold like in thousands okay six hundred five thousand dollars it is sold uh, these items okay so how will the three-dimensional data model look like this is the two-dimensional data model there is a row here and the column here okay so in three-dimensional data model we have another thing like location as well in uh, along with time item and time the location is also present means if i just ask you like uh, this one is for uh, chicago like show me for new york also so you'll design another table which will show for new york if i ask you for vancouver you'll show another table which is for vancouver then for toronto also you'll show like that it will be uh, means four different things right so here are the four locations chicago new york toronto and vancouver so this for the 3d because three dimensions are involved which are the th uh, three dimensions time item location so like that how many up we go at that time that many dimension it is called okay and uh, the same thing can be uh, visualized in the 3d form also like in this 3d cube here we have the location city values vancouver toronto new york and chicago and here the time in quarters like first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter quarter means the um, three months yeah uh, four months okay uh, quarter, quarter means three months okay first three months uh, then six then nine then 12 months okay so three 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 months uh, that is known as quarter and these are the item names home uh, computer phone and security and if you join these three things like for example if i want to know in uh, new york how much computers uh, were sold in the uh, first quarter okay so this is the first quarter here and this is uh, the computer and this is the new york so if i join these three things like this in a line at that time what i get is in new york um, 968 thousand items were sold for computer in the first quarter again in second quarter it will be in the uh, second row which is not uh, visible in this diagram uh, but uh, that's how you visualize the diagram and understand it okay and for four dimension what will happen is another thing will come like supplier in supply what we will do is we'll just uh, make this cube here this for the first supplier another supply will make here another supply will make here and that is represented as follows okay so here is the for the first supplier second supplier third supplier so if you want to know for the second supplier what is the sales happened in new york 
for uh, phone like in uh, fourth quarter so fourth quarter i'll go i'll go for phone here and for the new york i'll go and for the second supply i'll select and i'll get the answer here okay that's how the uh, dimensions work also it is possible to create a subsets so uh, what the subset means is there will be two um, means the views the first view is the upper view and second is the lower view means the more detailed view in the upper view what happens is all the information will be present here like the time item location and supplier all the uh, information will be uh, means grouped into one single point and that will be called as the sales okay because this is about the sales so sales will be present here and uh, facts regarding the uh, sales will be um, grouped together into a single point uh, but if you go into the depth and we need to know more information about it the what's happening in the time item location supplier then time and item will be joined and then with the information is viewed and uh, two dimension means the item and uh, the location supplier and the location all the combinations are present in the second layer because two dimensions involved what about the next one three dimensions involved time item location time item supplier time location supplier time uh, location uh, item location supplier this three dimension involved so it is 3d cuboids and the last one is all the four are involved so it is the base so this gives the detailed information this gives the brief information okay that is known as apex and base so as uh, we can see here the cuboid that holds the lowest level of summarization is called the base which is the uh, lower layer and the top layer is that which is the uh, gives the whole summarization highest level summarization means what the whole cube is about it's about sales okay that's all so it's about the, that's known as apex uh, cuboid that gives the top overview of the um, data uh, data cube okay and the next important concept is the uh, schemas for the multi-dimensional data models very important from exam point of view there are three schemas for multi-dimensional models what does schema mean schema means the um, catalog or the uh, brief overview of what the thing is about what the data cube is about okay like an abstract so there are three types of it star schema snowflake schema and fact constellation schema so what's happening is in star schema something will be defined here something will be added to it and that will become snowflake schema and something will be added to it that will become the fact constellation schema so we'll understand more when we see an example here so in the example part we have two types of table dimension table and fact table fact table will give the fact things so how many dimensions were there the first was the time and item branch and location these four were the dimensions in our table the main things means the keys of each of this table are uh, time key branch key location key and item key these all are uh, means stored in the fact table so fact table will have these main things as well as along with it what are the uh, facts is uh, the dollars sold and units sold this information is available okay so this is known as the uh, star schema star um, star schema and the second one is the snow, uh, snowflake schema in that what happens is the things which are present here this will have the further more information of it okay like for example if you see the snowflake schema in the last one we have the supplier key supplier key is further divided into, uh, means the more detail is present here like supplier key and supplier type and uh, the city key is further uh, means uh, given in more detail at, as uh, city province or uh, and uh, country okay that's all the difference this is the same part here this the normalization is happening here to avoid redundancy in the fact constellation what happens is instead of having just one fact table we'll have uh, two or more fact tables okay so two or more fact tables are present here the another fact table is this one it will have the same things here like present here just uh, more detailed of one thing like for example here shipper key is present what is shipper key shipper key, uh, shipper key will have another dimension if you want to add another dimension like shipper key shipper name and location key and the shipper type these things which are uh, present here that can be from the other tables also like location key is present here just what's happening is in the brief overview another fact table is created and that is uh, combined here okay it can have the keys from these tables also or any other separate keys okay so these are the three things which you have to explain just keep in mind, uh, mind one example and what is uh, getting added just keep in mind that okay after that we need to know the uh, role of concept hierarchies concept hierarchy uh, hierarchy means from the low level to the higher level the uh, hierarchies are present for example if i give you an example here the location the first is all okay all the countries are present then specific countries taken into consideration then in each country the it is divided into states each state is divided into cities right so that is known as from uh, top level to lower level hierarchy and this from the lower level to top level hierarchy okay same thing can be done for the year as well like days uh, means days become week and week be week become year and days become month month become quarter 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 becomes year okay another type of hierarchy is the uh, set grouping hierarchy here the 
uh, bigger range is divided to smaller ranges like uh, 0 to 1000 is divided to 0 to 200, 200 to 400 and so on and this is further divided to 0 to 100 and 100 to 200 and so on. Okay. So, this is known as set grouping hierarchy. The next important topic from the exam point of view is the categorization and computation of measures. Measure means values. Okay. So, values can be um, means represented in three forms, distributive, uh, algebraic and holistic. Okay. So, what are the differences between each of these is for example, like in distributive what happens is if um, sum, okay, sum can be taken as a example. For example, uh, if I take uh, sum here we have like um, here we have 100 chocolates. Okay. So, total number of chocolates are 100 it's divided into 10 parts. So, 10 groups are given 10, 10 chocolates. Uh, so, what is happening here is each uh, for this whole thing if I apply the sum operation what I will get is 100. If I apply the individual sum operations, I will get some values here and if uh, all these values are again combined that's, that will give me again 100, right. So, uh, whatever function uh, means uh, satisfies for this condition like the whole and the uh, partial if you do and add it up you will get the same answer that is known as distributive, okay. And the same thing goes for uh, count also min and max. In min and max what happens if you have uh, 5 numbers here 1, 7, 8, 2 and 11. So, what is the maximum number among these? I can get directly by 11. But if I divide into sub parts, then I calculate, then again I will get 11 only, right. Maximum among this is 7, ma uh, maximum among this is 8, then maximum among this is 11. Then if I further divide these two and this separately, 7 and 8 maximum is 8, this 11 is here, then 11 and 8 the maximum is 11. Again I got the same answer even after dividing. So, that is the distributive. What about the algebraic? The same thing as the previous one, but here we will have the constraints as well, okay. Like, um, here we will have a algebraic function with m arguments ok and the uh, last one is the holistic, holistic means that it is uh, seeing for the whole function ok and there is no constant bound as the uh, as in the previous one in algebraic we had the constant bound like for the specific limits but here we will not have those limits ok and the function which are defined here cannot be expressed in the algebraic or distributive form like for example what is median, mode and rank ok. So, these cannot be like divided again into sub parts and we will get the same answer no we will not get the same answer ok. So, these are the three things which you have to explain if they ask the um, measures, okay, measures and their computation. Like if I show you the uh, question bank, in that what question you can uh, means answer for this uh, topic is this one, okay. Here they have asked the categorization of measures, okay. For this question, this is the answer, what I just explained, okay. This is the final topic and the most important one in the exam point uh, from the exam point of view. Uh, in this module which is the OLAP operations. So, OLAP operation means we understand what is data cube and what are the operations that can be performed in it. Very simple there are four operations roll up, drill run, slice and dice and pivot ok. So, here what we have is in the this is the data cube as uh, discussed previously also what is roll up operation. Roll up means cropping, roll up means what uh, cropping ok. For example, if you have here like uh, Toronto and Vancouver. So, if I zoom it here you have two cities here Toronto and Vancouver both belong to Canada and New York and Chicago both belong to USA, fine. So, what I will do is I will combine these both, add these both uh, values and store it in a single row. Same thing goes for here as well, fine. So, we will have Canada and USA here, okay, just two rows here and the values are combined in this case, fine. That is known as roll up, just cropping up and zooming in means drill down. In zooming in what happens is we have four quarters here, quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3 and quarter 4. If I just again uh, zoom, uh, zoom in and see what is happening in January, February and March, April, May and June and so on. So, what I will get is the drill down. So, for each of the month I will get the values here, ok like 150, 100 and uh, 150, how much is the sum? 450, right. Uh, I should get 450 but here it is uh, present 400, so yeah never mind but uh, that is uh, what is happening here like January, February and March both these things are combined uh, means uh, it was quarter 1 and it is uh, zoomed in into 3 things, ok that is known as drill down, ok. And uh, what is a slice and dice? Slice and dice means if I am just concerned with a few things like I just want to know like uh, for the all the quarters what happened uh, in the home entertainment computer and security for only Vancouver. So, what I will do I need not have this one right I need not uh, need these values I just need Vancouver. So, I will uh, slice and dice these things. So, I will just get one uh, dimension of this cube right. So, that is what is happening here I will just get one dimension of the cube ok. So, this is the what I am getting here just one dimension of the cube this is known as slice and dice ok. Pivot means just rotate, rotate means uh, we already know what is uh, the rotation the transformation like if you have the location here and the items here if I rotate it the items will come here and the locations will come here like just like this one ok. The items came here and the uh, location came here ok. 
So, these are the four main OLAP operations which you, you need to explain from this module and yeah that is all what is uh, important from this module uh, which I have just discussed and uh, thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one.